Everyone's talking about Bamboo Labs' new $2,000 printer. $2,000 that supposedly eliminates the biggest waste problem in 3D printing. Seven nozzles that swap themselves in eight seconds. Zero purge waste. Sounds like marketing nonsense, right? I mean, I don't know it yet, like... Coffee, spelled backwards, is e -fuck. Which is funny, because until I've had my coffee, I don't give e -fuck about anything. Same energy, buddy, because until I've studied this thing, I don't give e -fuck about anything they say. So the H2C uses the Vortex system, right? Instead of pushing multiple filaments through one nozzle and wasting mountains of plastic, it swaps the entire hot end. Six magnetic nozzles sit in a rack, plus one fixed nozzle. Each one remembers which filament it last used. Need red instead of blue? The machine parks the blue nozzle and grabs the red one. Induction heating brings it to 350 degrees in eight seconds. <laughs> Get this, eight seconds. Well, la, di, da. Traditional multi-material printers generate printer poop, right? That waste tower of purged filament. For a complex model, you might print 400 grams of actual part and 300 grams of garbage. 300 grams. The H2C changes that math. Same four-color print that takes 29 hours on their H2D? 16 hours on the H2C with minimal waste. 16. <laughs> but here's where engineering meets reality. To fit that nozzle rack, they sacrificed build volume. You lose 45 millimeters compared to the H2S. 305 millimeters instead of 350. The system also creates dependency. Those swappable nozzles? They only work with the AMS automatic material system. No AMS, no automatic swaps, period. Then there's the TPU problem. Flexible materials compress and buckle in the long feed tubes. You can print TPU, but only on the fixed left nozzle with an external spool. The automatic multicolor promise? It vanishes for soft materials. Emotional, damn it! <laughs> now here's what nobody mentions up front. Listen to this. The system has 59 sensors and four cameras watching everything. It detects clogs before they ruin prints, scans the bed for debris, verifies your nozzle matches slicer settings. But let me, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something! Let me tell you something! <laughs> okay, sorry. Let me tell you something about this machine. The H2C solves real problems, but introduces new constraints. For multicolor production work where speed and waste matter more than bed size, this makes financial sense. You'll recoup that $2,400 investment in saved filament and time within months. But if you print primarily single materials, need flexible filament automation, or want extra build volume, the H2S at $1,200 gives you more space and fewer moving parts. Look, the H2C is specialized optimization with a premium price for users who actually need what it does differently. If this stopped you from impulse buying expensive hardware based on YouTube hype, perfect. I investigate tech so you make decisions based on actual limitations instead of marketing promises. Seriously. Hey, Mark here. <clears throat> okay, look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products, and I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might roast next week. That would be awkward. If this review helped you out or saved you from wasting money, here's how you can support what we're doing. First, I've put the link to this product in the description. If you buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second, there's another link down there that goes straight to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it and use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or restocking on toilet paper. A tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations. And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. It's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there.